Hello, I'm April from The Moon is My Calendar, and this is an elemental astrological exploration of the sign of Scorpio. This is being recorded for the new moon in Scorpio and this season of going into the depths and this season of um, feeling into how does Scorpio express and want to be expressed as an energy. So elemental astrology for me is a way to connect with the seasons, the elements and the modalities and make sense of the year in terms of themes and um, energetic principles and creative expression. So last year, um, I, in my process of deepening a connection with the signs of the zodiac, I created um, a piece for each of those signs. So for to communicate the energy, so without any words or language or memorizing is how to feel Scorpio. So Scorpio and the new moon in Scorpio and coming to this moment of um, planting a seed within this energy of Scorpio. So I'm going to share the the image Um, and just feeling into the colors. Scorpio is a water sign, so elementally water fluid, and yet the modality is fixed. And so water usually wants to flow and move, um, but Scorpio is one of the fixed signs. And fixed can mean like having a fixation or um, an obsession. And with Scorpio, some of that obsession is getting to the bottom of things. And so there's this energy, uh, there's two planets associated with Scorpio. One, the traditional ruler of Mars, which is where this kind of almost volcanic fire comes from, is there is um, a a, um, a depth that that can come out with some force. And the modern ruler then is Pluto, which was not observed um, when when signs were were being um, associated and uh, having a guardian planet over each sign, Pluto was not yet in existence. So that's the modern ruler. And Pluto is those depths. And um, there's that place of power that's that's hidden, that can be secretive, and um, that the energy of Pluto wants to access. There's almost this like, the, the impulse and the drive, like I said, to get to the bottom of things, to want to understand the mystery, to want to understand the hidden power dynamics. And <clears throat> to experience all of that with an intensity, it's a water sign which connects us with emotional reality. And so how one of the questions then can be, how can I trust my own emotional intensity? How can I trust that my emotions will find expression, that I can feel big emotions um, and that those want to move through me powerfully and, um, you know, with especially with with Scorpio, the emotion, each of the water signs maybe has its own emotion. Um, It wouldn't be the same for the water sign of Cancer or of Pisces, but for Scorpio, um, what is sometimes described as sacred rage of like both that fire and the water and the power and the everything that wants to erupt and break free and express and is not okay with how things are, that that is tapping into how can I trust my own emotional intensity? Where does that go? Where are the outlets? Um, How is that directed? And um, so that in a very real and raw way is being in relationship with Scorpio, trusting our emotional intensity to bring change. Um, So other dimensions of this sign, um, <clears throat> first of all, I'll actually show the, um, 
the symbol, the zodiac, because it gives us some information too of this um, going down and this going into an underworld and a place where there is often um, things that may feel frightening or scary that that can't be seen in the dark or that go into places of unknown. Um, and how can I trust myself to move through the unknown? How can um, the, uh, how can I come back up again? Scorpio wants to transform. And so it's not only like going down and getting, getting stuck, but actually wanting to explore the shadows, see what's there and then bring it to light. And so Scorpio is one of those signs that's like wanting to speak the truth, speaking truth to power and accessing that sometimes through going into places that maybe other people who have not yet fully developed that scorpionic ability um, that other people aren't willing to go. So how can we support those in our life who like have that um, passion and drive? to get to the bottom of things and to bring bring it up and bring it to light. Um, what's unspoken and silent often has power over the secrets or shame or um, there's uh, what's, what's hidden in a way because it's covering up or covering over something. So um, the... Any signs that, that's fixed has a determination. So other fixed signs, um, the, the pairing with Scorpio goes with Taurus, which is a fixed earth sign. There is a determination. Um, the properties of fixed signs are the ability to like stick with something, whether that's through loyalty, stick with something, whether it's like in a detective sense. So when I think of um, Scorpio, what came to me... Um, just before recording was like, oh, Scorpio is the bloodhound, like to get a scent of something and the scent of something that's not even there anymore, but to pick up on it and follow that scent um, and trace it back to the origin. Um, that is an expression of the energy of Scorpio and the fact that it's like the, the bloodhound. And so Scorpio being a water sign, right? So there's this like connection to the fluids, I would say each of the water signs is connected to a different kind of fluid. Um, and Scorpio, what first comes to mind is blood um, and also bodily fluids of like um, semen and uh, cervical fluid and anything that comes from our sexual or reproductive organs um, that that seeks to merge that seeks transformation through a joining together um, and seeks expression and in that way that full intensity of pleasure that that pleasure and pain and the, what is my capacity for holding um, how can Scorpio assist um, and be a part of this building of capacity for holding a, a full range of um, of emotional um, expression and sensation and all of that. So um, Scorpio often gets a bad rap. Certain signs in the Zodiac, um, for whatever reason, you know, there a, there's a, a different kind of intensity that goes along with um, <clears throat> the energy of Scorpio um, that really feels, that feels, that feels life, that feels connection, and that feels disconnection, and that feels um, just the the presence of the intensity of being fully alive. And um, because Scorpio connects us with what's taboo and what is often um, so powerful that it requires um, ritual or initiation, much like blood rites, much like birth and death, um, that Scorpio is sort of the guardian of those of those realms. Um, so in um, for the new moon, 
um, and a, a planting of seed within this energy, within that, um, what's sometimes called the fertile void, um, that place of unknown, of not yet, of what wants to be um, seeded here. Um, connecting and, and perhaps asking yourself, um, where am I not fully living, feeling, allowing myself to feel? Um, one very powerful practice that if there's something that wants to be released, especially before the new moon, um, is to find some things to break. And this could be plates from the thrift store. This could be something that is not going to hurt somebody else that is breaking something on purpose um the, the physical release through that and i've been reflecting on a personal practice that i did when i was needing to break some what felt like a a binding from a relationship um, was breaking plates and expressing those feelings and putting them um giving them a place to go that wasn't directed sideways at somebody who um didn't need to be on the receiving end of all of that emotion. Um, I'll tell one little uh, personal, uh, just a way of really personalizing. Sometimes astrology can feel like out there or abstract or far away. Um, I, I connect with astrology as a way of telling time, seasonally, of, of locating um, energetically, within cycles and um, attuning to the energy of what the sign um, wants to, how it wants to express itself in the world, that full range of all 12 signs. So this, per and personalizing it. So when I really began to understand Scorpio was through one of my children, um, who is about to have a birthday in the Scorpio season. Um, and this was an experience at a river. And so it's a river we go to every summer. And there's a bunch of people and, and someone was, you know, going to the, finding big rocks, holding onto them and like going down to the bottom of the river, this very, this deep part after the rapids and um, like seeing how long they could stay down there. And so I've, this was quite a while ago, so my my child was a strong enough swimmer, but I was on the edge of these rocks looking, uh, trying not to hold my breath because of that fear of what if they don't come back up to the surface? What if they go down and are holding onto this rock? And there's like this element of danger. So this is that kind of like the intensity of, ooh, I want to feel what it's like to hold my breath, to be at the bottom of the river the very depth, like you can't go any farther down and be down there and feel that, go to the depth and then come back up for air. And so my experience as the mother, the space holder, was just holding that space to allow my child to have this in, the intensity of this experience and do it over and over and over, probably 10, 15 times of going down and then when I almost, when I got to the point of like almost panic, then they would come back up for air. And there was something in that exchange that was this learning, like a gift from the energy of Scorpio and that learning around how do I breathe through the intensity? How do I trust that the depths and the unknown and when someone needs to go to those places to really feel themselves and to know themselves? and to hold space for that and to be there when they come back up for air and be transformed through the, the process. <sighs> so hopefully this gives a bit of that transmission to feel Scorpio and the, the importance of what Scorpio has to to bring and to offer and how you might um, tune in and tap into that as one of many 
um, mm, I was going to say resources, but there's another word that I'm not finding um, that each of the signs of the zodiac has has to offer. So thank you for being here, for trusting the process, and I'll see you next time.